guys, thank you for joining me with Artsphere today and we are going to be doing another weaving project. Um, this one is called Ojos de Dios and that means Eyes of God. So this is a Hispanic or Latin American craft that came from a lot of Indians in the Mexico area um, in ancient times and they would make this woven mandala um, to use as decoration and also um, be very symbolic. So we are going to need some yarn and you can do different colors or you can do one color. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and then you're going to need either um, some cardboard that you can cut into two long pieces or popsicle sticks or kebab sticks. So whatever you guys have around that is most accessible, if you don't have any of that cardboard works fine, it just has to be a stiff material and we're going to start, if you're using cardboard, by cutting two long strips in it because we want to mimic the image of um, a kebab stick or a popsicle stick. And these, I have my two, are going to be crossed over like this. So now if you cut out your two pieces or if you're using popsicle sticks, you're just gonna cross it over like this. We're just gonna lay that down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ravel a large amount of yarn. So if you have your yarn, you're going to either, you're going to take your cross pieces and you are going to wrap it on one side and you're just going to hold it there. So I have it held um, onto one piece. So now you want to think about where you want to start. So I'm going to start with this one, which means that I'm going to go around and then I'm going to go over to the next one and I want it to cross over. So I'm gonna go around to this one and I'm gonna cross it over and bring it around, around underneath. And then I'm gonna turn this and do the same thing and bring it across to the one beside it, bring it underneath and then hold it right here and turn. And one more time, I'm gonna bring it from this side all the way across to the other side, bring it underneath and hold it here and then turn my piece. So now it should be pretty stuck and I'm going so you don't have to hold on to that end piece anymore. And that is the pattern that you're gonna continue. So hopefully you guys got it. We're gonna do it a couple more times because it does have to um, develop a rhythm to make make sure you're comfortable with it. So I'm starting from right here, my piece. I'm gonna bring it across the middle of my other one, bring it down the bottom, bring it around. I'm going around this stick. I'm bringing it to the side and then I'm gonna turn it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go around the bottom stick, bring it around behind it and then I'm going to turn it. So just make sure that you're always turning the same way. One more time, I'm bringing it around the bottom, over the top right here. Then I'm going to go around, hold it, and turn. So that is the pattern that you just continue as you go. You don't want to go super fast because it will get you confused. Um, you try to do this too fast and you lose track. So you always want to make sure that you're going controlled and slow. Take your time on this, make it tight. You don't want your threads to loosen up. And as you continue weaving this, you're going to see a pattern coming through on the yarn, which is known as the ojos de Dios. And each of the four points represent something um, for this art piece or woven piece and the middle represents the sun or the eye of God which we have right here and then the each of the four points will represent the four elements of the earth if you guys are able to name them so we have water air fire and earth those are your four elements or wind can sometimes substitute fire it depends on which culture or um, which stories that you hear. All right, and so you guys can always switch colors with this to make your pattern cooler. 
um, if you have different colors, all you have to do is cut it right here and tie on the new string. And you should be set to keep weaving. And the same thing, make sure you don't lose track of your pattern if you do do that. And you're just going to keep doing this until you reach the end, which I am almost done with mine. Alright, so now that I have it, I'm just going to snip it off the end. And I'm going to tuck it in or tie it around. My cardboard kind of bowed up a little bit because it's not sticks, so that might be a benefit if you're deciding what kind of um, material you want to use. You can just fold that down and tuck this in behind. Alright, but now you have your Eye of God, hopefully, and you can see the back. We have the, you can see the two crosses that we made, um, and then you have your Ojos de Dios in the center right here. So this is basically just a little decorative piece and you can make these as big or as long as you want or as small as you want and different, definitely try different colors, but it's a super easy, um, fun little weaving project and it definitely helps um, practicing your um, repetition skills with the patterns as well as um, hand-eye coordination because it does take a lot of concentration to not get confused or messed up on the pattern of this um, weave. So here's just another example. We did the woven bowls a couple days ago, um, and this is another cute little craft you can do as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed doing that one. If you did, please hashtag as a love art sphere inc or um, email us at info at We'd love to see your projects and see what you guys are doing. Thank you.